Not too long ago, we've added the so-called hover animations in Thrive Architect. By now, you're probably familiar with them. If not, I'll leave a link in the top right hand corner of the screen and you can go and check them out. However, in this video, we're going to talk about the new hover animations that were just added in Thrive Architect. And I'm going to show you how you can build a layout that looks like this, where you can basically show off your team or your company staff with Thrive Architect. So without any further ado, let me show you how you can build this layout. So here we are in Thrive Architect and the first thing we've got to do is we've got to add the columns element on the page. So I'm going to place it below the paragraph and I'm going to choose the three column layout. Then the next step is to add a content box and place it in one of the columns, right? And now the next thing is to increase the height for the content box so that we can actually fit the image inside the content box. Now the image will be added as a background style image. So we're going to click on background style, choose the image, and we're going to choose this one. And this is basically what the user will see when he will not hover over this content box, right? Now the next step is to add some text and place it inside the content box. So we use the paragraph element. And here you can basically customize the text however you see fit. The first step is obviously to add the name, right? You can anything like John Doe, for example. And below we're gonna add the title. So let's say accountant, right? Now we're gonna increase the font size for the name and for, for the title as well, but not so much. And we're de we'll decrease the line height for the paragraph element and we'll also bold this text here. And we'll simply leave it like that. Now, very important, it is to decrease the opacity for the text on the default state because on the default state, when the user will not hover over the content box, we only want him to see the image without the text, right? So we're gonna click on the color here for the text and we're gonna minimize the opacity, right? To something like that. Now, the next step is to click on the content box and we're gonna select the state option here, very important, and click on hover, right? Now we're gonna click on the background style and remove the image because we don't want to show the image on hover, right? So we're going to remove it and you can either leave it like this or you can add a color, right? We're simply going to add a color in case you also want to add a color, we'll leave it like that, right? Something simple and very important. We want to show the text, right? So we'll go to typography click on the color picker and maximize the opacity. And there we go, we have the text. And now, very important, the last part is to add the animation, right? So we'll click on animation and action. And here, click on the first icon, click on the drop down, and look for the section called background, right? And now we're gonna click on this first option for this example, you can choose any option you want. You can basically test them all to see which one fits your website best. So we're gonna apply this, and now we're gonna exit the state, and we're gonna save the changes, and we're gonna preview the entire page to see how the user will see this animation. So we're gonna click on preview here, and as you can see here in preview mode, this is how the image will look with the animation. And now we're gonna go ahead and build the other two content boxes as well. Now the hard part is actually done, right? Moving forward, we don't have to build the other two content boxes from scratch. We can actually duplicate the first content box and then move it into the other columns and then simply replace what we need to change. So we click on the content box, we'll duplicate it twice. I'm gonna click on the second one and move it into the second column. And this one, we're gonna move it into the third column as well. And now, obviously, we have to change the name, right, to something like, I don't know, Alex Johnson, maybe something like that. And the title as well will change to CEO, maybe. And the last one as well, some other name, I don't know, Christian Mike, something like that. 
and the title as well to maybe something like sales. And now all we have to do is change the images. Now you have to make sure that you're in the default state. So on the background style, we have to change the image, right? We're gonna choose a different image, apply it, and for the third content box as well, we're gonna choose this image. And as you can see, this is how it looks. We're gonna save the page and we're gonna click on preview once again. And here we go, very simple. This is how you can build this kind of layout in Thrive Architect with the help of the content box and the new background hover animations. And this basically concludes this video. I really hope you enjoyed this quick introduction for the new hover animations. If you have any questions regarding this, please leave a comment below and I'll see you guys in the next video.